Hello YouTube and welcome to another PFSense tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use or to establish port forwarding on PFSense. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see here I'm using actually PFSense the latest version which is as you can see here 2.8.0 but this tutorial also applies to previous versions like for example 2.7.2 okay so as I told you we'll be actually doing here port forwarding which is a technique that allows you to redirect external IP addresses and also external port to an internal IP address with the internal port okay so I will take as an example here this Grafana server. So here as you can see I have an internal server on my LAN network which has an IP address that one that 105 okay as you can see and it has a port of 3000 okay so this is just a server that allows me to track my internet speed so as you can see here okay so it doesn't matter you can use whatever server you want but here the objective of this video is to show you how you can access your internal server from the internet okay so remember the IP address the internal IP address is that one that 105 and the port is 3000 so we will try to redirect traffic to this internal actually server okay so this is our pfSense we have an external IP address so in order to do that we'll be actually doing what we call port forwarding okay so you can see it's pretty straightforward process pretty easy so all you have to do in order to do that is to go to the menu here firewall as you can see and to choose the NAT okay so here we go so here we have our uh, port forward as you can see here okay so me I already here done what we call just a separator I call it the port forward okay so it's pretty easy to create it just for clarity here but you can delete it if you want okay so let's create another one so our click just add separator so you can name it whatever you want so port I will name it port forward our internal server which is called Grafana server okay Grafana server simply as that I will save that here we go now we can add our rule so in order to add it we click on this button here add here we go so it's pretty easy so the interface of course is the one interface because we'll be directing the traffic from the external to the internal so we'll choose the one interface here the protocol is uh, actually TCP because I'll be accessing a web page from my server here okay the destination port so this is very important so you can choose whatever port you want you can keep the default or actually the internal one as you can see here it's 3000 but you can choose whatever external port you want okay so for example it choose 8083 okay 8083 I'll do the same here because it's just one port 8083 and this is the redirect target IP here we have to provide the internal IP address so remember it's that one as you can see here that 105 okay so I'll input it here okay that one that 105 and of course you have to keep the same internal actually port which is in our case 3000 okay so this is all you have to do so you can also add a description it's pretty good to do that so you can just use port forward grafana server actually okay and also there is an important thing that you have to keep in mind so filter rule association 
so here actually when you add this NAT rule it will add another rule that will allow any traffic to hit this uh, external port to be allowed so I will show you that but here if you choose this option here which is by default here the rule will be added automatically to your firewall okay so let's save that here we go so we have to apply the changes so it's very important not to forget that okay here we go so now our changes has been applied okay so any traffic that will hit the external port of 8083 as you can see here will be redirected to our internal server which has an IP address that 1.100.5 and which has also an internal port of 3000 so as I told you when you create this rule another rule will be created automatically in your firewall so if I go to my firewall and rules you can see this rule at the bottom has been added because it was not existing before but when you add not rule and you keep the default options this rule is added to your firewall because we need to allow traffic to hit the external port in order to reach this internal IP address okay so that's all you have to do in order to actually get the traffic redirected to actually your internal server and one thing which is also very important you can edit this rule okay I will edit it and I will just add here login in order to see what's going on if anyone is actually trying to access your server so I will check this box here in order to see that on the system logs okay so I will save that of course I will apply the changes okay so now you can actually access this internal server using your public IP address as you can see here and with the port 8083 okay so I'm gonna do that on my uh, phone which has an external IP address and we're gonna see the logs actually on the uh, actually system logs okay so I have accessed my uh, actually internal or external server here using this IP address here public IP address and with the port 8083 so let's see if we can see that on the logs so we'll go actually to status and system logs okay then I will go to firewalls and here I will do some filtering I will do the pass filtering and the destination port will be the internal wall which is 3000 here we go and you can see indeed we have some logs corresponding to this is uh, the IP the external IP address that I used in order to reach the internal server okay so you can see how easy it is to configure port forwarding on PFSense actually it's the same procedure if you want to do it on OPN Sense which actually is just a clone not a clone a fork of pfSense okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to perform port forwarding on pfSense using this procedure here so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content and of course if you have any suggestion for a future video drop them in the comment below as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.